This is a tour of room 27 137 in the Flamingo Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. So this room is a two queen flamingo executive room. Uh, so going into the bathroom, it's clean, it's bright, it looks okay. It doesn't look like anything should be out of place. It seems perfectly normal, looks good. Toilet in the corner and a trash can in front of it. Shower is clean enough. Shower head, as you would expect from Aziza property. Not perfect, but yeah, it's good enough. Handle, nice and clean. Drain for doing a little bit of work. Shampoo, body wash and conditioner, all complimentary, as usual in the Flamingo. Going back into the main section of the room by the front door, we have some closet space with some coat hangers. And in the other side, we have some drawers and some coat hangers above as well. These drawers are a fairly good size, so you can easily fit all of your clothes in these. Not a problem, even if there's three or four of you staying in this room. Full size mirror, which is on the connecting door to the room next door. And like I say, it's nice and bright. It looks good. Beds, nice and neatly made. Two flamingos on the wall there, as you would expect in a hotel called Flamingo. And between the two beds, we have a tiny little drawer and a big drawer. More space for you to store your stuff in. Just perfect. So as we turn around here, a little lamp there on the desk and we have plenty of sockets here that you would need. Nice big TV, seems clean. And if we go into the cupboard here, we have the safe, which is obviously standard. And on the other side, always good to see, we have a refrigerator. Not the biggest in Vegas, but you know what? It certainly does the trick, especially in other properties where you don't even get a mini refrigerator. There's a table and some chairs for you to sit on if you were to bring back your In-N-Out burger from the Lake Promenade. Some nice artwork on the wall and a nice little sofa that you can just lounge around on. So the view I have is of the habitat and the high roller wheel. And I do like this view. I love it at nighttime when you can see the high roller wheel all lit up. It does look pretty cool. So turning back into the room itself, it really does look nice. It, I just, I'd say I can't complain at this point, but there were a few things that we noticed after staying here for a few days. The taps in the bathroom weren't exactly stable. They were wonky, wobbly, and there was no plug. Perfect. The bottom of the cupboard of the safe, it looked like it had been chewed by a dog. Hmm, not brilliant, I would say. And the floor itself, although you probably can't see, was actually a bit too dirty. 